Shalom. Kal Halayla Yahal Bashim Yahal Shai Bashim Rakak Wadash. Double loss to the Elsney Apostles of Great Millstone who were well. Shalom to the 144,000. The one third remnant main woman and children of the whole fun lake. Shalom. That's the brother Kabari Yash coming back at you in another quick lesson. Through the spring of Brian Yahal Bashim Yahal Shai, I pray let's be at a fine scratch to the point. All right, I've been wanting to do a lesson on this, all right? And I think it's the perfect time to do a lesson on this, all right? Because there's a reason why your buddy here, Mr. Klaus Schwab, wants to step down by next year, okay? So we're going to read this article, and I got another article to show you maybe there's a reason why he wants to step down, okay? It says this is on the People's Voice TV, and it says... WEF founder Clown Swab to step down by next year. Okay, and I'm not going to read all of this. It says WEF founder, okay, World Economic Forum, founder and executive chairman Clown Swab is to step down from his leadership role by 2025, according to reports. And there's a reason why this man wants to step down. I'll show you the reason why. Okay. And this article just came out today, all right? It says, WEL Insider, Clown Swab facing death penalty for crimes against humanity. Hmm, yeah. That's maybe the reason why he wants to step down. <laughs> because he could be facing, you know, death penalty. So let's read a little bit of this. It says, leading globalists are set to be... Sacrifice on the auto public outrage for their roles in the C pandemic, according to an international crime criminal court insider who revealed that preparations are underway for crimes against humanity. No, Nuremberg 2.0 trial at the ICC and the Hagu. All right, so these devils are being exposed, and now you know. <laughs> All right, let's read it. It says the globalist elites have done their best to unleash hell on earth in the last four years, but we, the people, have held strong. Well, they're gonna unleash hell, okay? Esau's gonna come down. Look, Esau's gonna come down with great rap because he knows that he has a short time. Let's get that scripture. Let's get it. Revelation 12 and 12. Because eventually they're going to. They're gonna have to speed things up. Because, hey, you know, you got your boy over there, Benjamin Yetin, not a J double O, all right? He wants this crime to, you know, this, uh, you know, he wants this war to continue because if it don't, if it stops, if it slows down, then he could be arrested for the crimes that he's committed against humanity. Okay. And the crimes he's committed against Gaza, war crimes. So these Edomites, they're being exposed. They're scared. So, hey, they got the, hey. Hurry this thing up, man. They got to hurry prophecy up, man. They got to hurry up this NWO because they know their time is up. And they're going to come down with great wrath, man. The next option is to what? Use their sword, man. Their blessing. Which, hey, which is right around the corner, man. It's very close. Let's read this. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So these devils know that their time is just about up. Let me get another one. Job 14 and verse 5. Job chapter 14, verse 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bonds that he cannot pass. So this devil's got a limit that he is not going to be able to pass, man. Okay? He's got a limit that he's not going to be able to pass. Okay? As far as he's going to get with his NWO is making the MOTB, which is the C-HIP, mandatory. And that's as far as they're going to go. Okay? After that, it's over for him, man. Okay? All right? The heavens are revealing their iniquity, man. All right? 
the men of the Lord, we're revealing these devils on all sides, okay? And the earth is now rising up against them, man, because, hey, people have woken up to the agenda. They've woken up to the agenda that they're trying to push, and now they got to hurry up and speed things up. And really, let's do the spirit of prayer. How about some of outside, okay? That they speed things up. Let's read this, Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Okay? And what is that enterprise? The NWO. Okay? The NWO is their enterprise. But they know that their enterprise is not going to be fulfilled, man. So what they're going to do? They're going to come down with great wrath, man. Okay? They're going to have to force it on the people. Okay? So we're in those times, man. Time of Jacob's trouble, a time like no other. Okay? Let's read this paragraph again. It says, The globalist elite have done their best to unleash hell on earth in the last four years, but we, the people, will have held strong, maintain our dignity, and exposing their lies one by one. And really, the men of the Lord has done that, man. Okay? The men of the Lord has done that. Let's read a little bit more. It says our abusers have been back into a corner and they are being forced to admit to the lies they've sprung. They want us to forget and for, forgive and forget, but we are not going to let that happen. Most senior members of the global elite are now acting like rats leaving a sinking ship. <laughs> Hey, America, Babylon is that sinking ship, man, like the Titanic, all right? And hey, now your boy Clown Swab, he wants to jump ship. All these guys are jumping ship because they know that ship is going down, man. <laughs> They're not going to be able to fulfill their NWO, okay? And it's our job to make sure they do not get away. And really, the more you about Shin Yao Shai is not going to allow these devils to get away, Okay? Learning how about Shin Yao Shai is going to put a stop to these devils, okay? WEF co-founder Clown Swab shocked the world last week when he announced plans to step down from his front man role. Exactly, and we just showed an article on that. The shock moves, the shock moves sparks fevered debate in the mainstream media about his potential successor. With many stating from British Prime Minister and the NWO war crimes, Tony Blair is leading contender behind the scenes. Okay. It says there is no shortage of globalist co what's that word is uh uh calling up to control the plot to enslave humanity. But the real question is why did Swab suddenly decide to jump ship? Alright. Yeah, that's a good question. We already know why he jumped ship. Okay? Because what's they gonna do? They're gonna go to their doomsday bunkers and they're gonna hide. Okay? So hey. We know what's going down. It says this is the man who boasted he would be leading the WEF pass. The age of 100 and who told German counselor Olaf Schwarz he would outlast him in power. <laughs> According to members of the ICC, which stands for, English, stands for International Intel Criminal Court, prosecutor, prosecution building the Nuremberg 2.0 case against globalists for crimes against humanity. Swab is not the only globalist from front man in panic mode. <laughs> so there you go. Let's, let's, go back. let's get a scripture right quick. So the men of the Lord are revealing their iniquities and hey, what's going on now? Let's get it. All right. Let's start at verse 23. This is Job chapter 20 and verse. Let's start at verse 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And the wicked represents the laborers, the workers. Okay? So, now the whole world is rising up against these devils, man. 
Verse 23, when he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fear of his wrath upon him and shall rain upon him while he is eating. What's going to rain down on these devils, man? ICBM nuclear missiles, okay? But the elites, they're going to go into hiding, okay? And hey, they're going to go into their doomsday bunkers. Let's uh, get a quick scripture on that. I'm going to come back to this. Let's go to Amos 9 and 2. Amos 9 and 2. Though they dig into hell... Hence shall my hand take them, though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Okay? They're going to go to their doomsday bunkers, their underground bunkers, their space bunkers, man. The Lord, how about Shin Yon Shai? Hey, when the 144,000 come out of those chariots, man, the New Jerusalem, we going to come exactly where y'all are, and we're not going to get you out of those cave bunkers, out of those underground bunkers, Okay? And y'all ass is going to be the first fruits of slavery, man, pertaining to Psalms 149, verses 5 through 9. Y'all going to be in chains, man. Y'all going to be the first fruits of slaves, man. You Edomites, man. We're talking about the elites because these low-level Edomites, they're going to die on this side. And they're going to be reborn into the kingdom and through the loins of the elites as slaves, okay? Along with the heathens, too. They're going into slavery, too, Okay? So, hey, you devils think you're going to run when shit hits the fan. Yeah, you're going to run. You're going to hide. You're going to hide in your underground bunkers. Okay? Why you think, uh, who's that, Mark Zuckerberg? All right, and then many more than, you know, the left America, and you know they building underground bunkers? Come on, man. They know what's coming. Even your boy Clown Swab, he know what's coming. Why you think he done jump ship? Because they know their time is up, man. They know their time is up. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that following. Okay? So they know their time is up. That's why they jumping ship. Him of all people, man. Okay? Let's read Amos 9-2 again. Though they dig into hell, okay, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, that's why I bring them down. Verse 3. And though they hide themselves in the top of caramel, the mountain bunkers, I will search and take them out hence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, underwater sea bunkers, that's why I command the serpent and the ish, and he shall bite thee. Leviathan is going to be awakened, man. Okay? And hey, you devils ain't going to be able to run from your judgment, man. You can't run from your judgment. Y'all judgment is close at hands, man. Okay, for all the things you have done. All the wickedness you have done. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians, not 1 Thessalonians, but 2 Thessalonians, Snock you. 2 Thessalonians 2 and let's just get straight to the point. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Who's the wicked? Job 9.24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. Okay, and that's Esau, even the so-called white man. Okay. Whom the Lord Yahweh shall, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Okay? These devils are going to be taken down by Yahweh Shai. And then when the 144,000 men, when we get those new bodies, Lord willing, okay, we're going to come down and we're going to get you. And y'all going to be put in chains, man. Going to be the first fruits of slavery. Okay? Y'all going to be the first fruits of slaves, man. Okay? Y'all ass is going directly into slave, slavery. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's prove it. Bible says prove all things. All right. Psalms 149 verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Verse 6. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. What we going to do with that two-edged sword? Verse 7, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Verse 8, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. You damn elites are going into slavery, man. Point blank, period. You can't run. You can't hide from your judgment, man. Okay? And hey, the rest of these Edomites and the heathens, okay, that die here in Babylon, okay, they're going to be reborn into the kingdom as slaves, man. 
They're coming back, and then when they get back into the kingdom, they're going to be in slavery, man. Okay? Point blank, period. But the elites of the elites are going to go into slavery first because they're going to survive this nuclear destruction that's coming, man. Okay? So, they're going to go and hide in they doomsday bunkers, and what's going to happen? Hey, the 144,000, when we come down out of those chariots, man, when the smoke clears, I don't know how long we're going to be in the chariots. We don't know, but, hey, you know, <laughs> Lord willing, we won't be in there that long because, hey, because we're going to be hungry and ready. We're going to be ready to come down and, hey, put you damn devils and you fucking heathens into captivity, man. And we are ready for that day to come, man. We ready. We're itching. We're yawning for that day, man. Okay? We're yawning for it. We ready. Let's go. Psalms 149 and verse 8 again. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Verse 9. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. How about Shem Shai? Okay? So, look. You devils got slavery waiting on you, man. You devils are not going to fulfill your NWO. Let's get this. Jeremiah 16, 16, one of my favorite scriptures. Be ready for this to come to pass, man. Jeremiah 16, verse 16. Behold, I was sent from many fishes, said the Lord, how about she on shire? And they shall fish now. Right now, we're fishing for the whole flat. But hey, fishing season is just about over with. Okay? And what's going to happen? And after I was sent from many hunters, the men that are fishing, Doing the work of the morning, how about she out shy? Going out to the highways and byways, man. The fishers are going to become hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Who's going to be hidden in the holes of the rocks? <laughs> These damn elites are, man. Okay? Big mountains. Okay? Big governments. Small governments. Okay? Okay? The, hey, the men of the Lord are going to become hunters, man. And we're ready for this to take place. Okay? Uh, let's see. Let's go back to the article. Let's see what else we got. Oh, come on. I forgot to finish reading that. Let me go back. Hold on. Let's go back. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Yeah, let's go back to uh, Job 20 and verse 23. Yeah, let's read this. I'm going to read down to 27. Okay? Job chapter 20 and verse 20. Let's start at verse 22 again. Let's read verse 22 again. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he should be in straits. These devils are in straits, man. Let's get this word straits. Let's go to it. Let's go this word straits. <clears throat> All right. Let's go Joe 20. Okay, I ain't here. Okay, Joel 20 and verse 22. Let's read it in the NLT first, and then we're going to look up the word straights. Okay, excuse me. Joel chapter 20 and verse 22 in the NLT it says, In the midst of plenty, they will run into trouble and will become, it's not, and will be overcome by misery. And that's what you see happening. White thing clown swab jump shit, man. Okay, they're running into trouble because, hey, their agenda is not working. The people is not falling for the bullshit anymore. And we're also going to look at that word wicked, too. Okay, straights. Yes, uh, yeshar. Okay, it says to buy, be in distress, to be distressed, be in distress. Okay, Let's see, scant, straights. All right. Let's see, vex. Okay, these devils are vexed because they know that the NWO is going to fail. So what they're going to do? <laughs> they're going to come down with great wrath like we read in Revelation 12 and 12. Now let's look at this word wicked. Okay. All right. The word wicked, a mall. It says laborers, sufferers, wretched one. Okay. So it's talking about the laborers, man. Right. So, these devils are in trouble. And they know they're in trouble, man. They know they're effed up, man. And they know that kingdom 
All right, let's stay here. I'm going to read it here, man. Okay. They know that their NWO and their kingdom is going to fall, man. Esau knows his time is up. He knows it. He can see the writing on the wall. All right. The Israelites are waking up throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay. And hey, what does it say? A dreadful sound is in his ear. Let's get that. Let's go, go come back. Job, I think it's Job 15 and verse, Job 15 and 21, I believe. Yep, right here. Yep, Job 15 verse 21. A dreadful sound is in his ear, in prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. Yeah, a dreadful sound is in the devil's ear. Let's read this in the NLT. The sound of terror reigns in their ears. Woo! And even on good days, they fear the attack of the destroyer. Ooh. And who's that talking about? Yahweh Shai, man. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back to a world that is ruled by Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay? They know. Hey, they know their time is up. A sound of terror is ringing in their ear. When they hear the man of the Lord are telling them their judgment. Okay, this truth has reached into the gates of the nobles, pertaining to Isaiah chapter 13, verse 2. So these devils are just scared. They're terrified, man. Okay. Let's go back to Job chapter 20, verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fear of his wrath upon him, and it shall rain upon him while he is eating. Okay, what's going to rain down on these devils? The ICBM nuclear missiles and laser beam fire from the chairs of the Lord High Bars from your side. Pertaining to Isaiah 66 and verse 15 and 16. The Lord High is coming back with fire in his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay? Verse 24. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow steel shall strike him through. Let's read uh Job 22. Job 20, 23 in the NLT. It says, May Yahweh give them a belly full of trouble. May Yahweh rain down his anger upon them. And Yahweh is about to rain down his anger upon them. Okay? Verse 24 in the NLT. When they try to escape an iron weapon, a bronze tip arrow will pierce them. That's the ICBM, the Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, man. Okay? Verse 25. It is drawn and coming out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword coming out of his skulls. Terrors are upon him. Verse 25. The arrow is pulled from their backs. And the arrowhead, which is those nuclear missile warheads, glistening with blood. The terrors of death are upon them. Wow. <laughs> Verse 26. All darkness shall be hid in his place. Secret place, a fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Verse 26, their treasures will be thrown into deep darkness. They have heaped up treasures for the last day, man. James 5 verses 1 through 5. Okay. A wildfire will devour their goods, consuming all they have left. And what is it say at the, uh, above the scripture? Okay, let's go get it. Let's get it. Let's go to, all right, right here. Job 20 and verse 15. He have swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. Yahweh shall cast them out of his belly. So all the riches they have gotten, un, un, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Unjustly, let's get it. Let's just get on one butcher. I'm going to come back. I'm about to butcher it, so let's get it. Right, all the riches they got from stolen land through rape, robbery, and murder. Man, let's get it. Sirach Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So, the kingdom is about to be translated from out of the hands of these damn devils into the hands of the Israelites, man. Okay, which is gonna be our Lord, you say, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, I'm going to say Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12 apostles, and the 144,000, man. 
ruling judges and kings that are going to rule on this planet, man. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. Hold on. Let's. Yeah, let's read down here. Let's go here. Let's go down here and uh, read this. So, Rock 10 and verse. Uh, let's get straight to the point. Verse 14. The Lord Yahweh Shai hath cast down the thrones of proud princes. That's talking about Esau Edom. His kingdom is going down. And set up the meek in their stead. Who's the meek? The Israelites. The elect. Starting with the elect on this side, man. Okay. Verse 14, the Lord Yahweh Shai have plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted the lonely in their place. Who is the lonely in this society, man? Who is the poor in this society? The Israelites are. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are about to rule, man. We got necks. Lord willing. Y'all rock his eye, man. Okay? Verse 16, the Lord Yahweh Shai overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundation of the earth. Yeah, and that's what's about to happen, man. Okay? Let's get a quick, let's get another one. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 24, I believe. Yep, right here. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 24. Then cometh the end which we're at the end, okay? We're at the end of Esau's rulership. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that followed. Second is the six and nine. When he, have, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to Yahweh, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, okay? Verse 25, for he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. Yeah. Okay. Verse 26. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Okay. And these devils is as death, man. Okay. Everywhere they go. Everywhere these damn Edomites go. Death follows, man. Okay. Death follows these devils wherever they, wherever they go, man. Okay. Like it tells you in half to 25. For he is as death. And cannot be satisfied. Okay. And these devils are not going to be satisfied. Until they got the whole world under their rulership man. Until they have gotten everyone. Micro C hipped. And hey. But that's not going to happen. Because the elect is not going to take it man. Okay. Let's go back to. Let's go back. Alright let's go back to Job. Chapter uh, 20. Let's go back now to where I was. All right. Yeah, let's go. Let's read verse 27. Job 20 and verse 27. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The men of the Lord, man, are revealing these devils' iniquity. They're being exposed on all levels. And the earth is now rising up against them, man. Okay? The world is not buying into the bullshit. Hey, these people ain't buying into their BS anymore. Okay? That's why they got to create, and that's why they unleashing new pandemics now, more diseases through the Spanish Empire, y'all about me on shy. Okay? To try to lock everything down once more. And once everything gets locked down, man, that's it. It's over with. Okay? This place is going to erupt in the chaos because the economy is getting ready to crash. Okay? Let's read this in uh, let's read 20, Job chapter 20 and verse 27. In the NLT, it says, The heavens will reveal their guilt, and they are guilty. And the earth will testify against them. The whole world, people that, you know, Israelites that, you know, might not be in this truth. All right? Are testifying against them. Telling them about their plan. Even you got heathens and their own people telling on themselves, man. Edomites are revealing their plans, man. Psalm 64 and verse 8. So shall they make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Even got Edomites revealing these devil's plans, man. The world is fed up. People are fed up with these devil's agenda, man. And hey, they ain't going for it no more. Okay? 
right? Let's go back. See what else we got in here. Mm. It says key figures in the World Economic Forum, the UN, and the WHO are counting down the days until their their diplomatic immunity is revoked and arrest warrants issues. I don't think that's gonna happen though. All right. It says yet to not a J double O is merely the first cab of the rank as the globalist elites face justice for their crimes. The list of globalists in the firing line is endless taking in politics, the deep state, big pharma, and the mainstream media, and they all know their time is almost up. Yeah, but how about Shia Shah going to put a stop to these devils, man? Okay. All right. It says, take Dr. You know, Frachi, for example, who is understood to be making preparations to flee the U.S. to a non-extra uh, it's, it's, tr- it's tradition state in the Caribbeans when Trump reclaims the White House in November. I don't know about all that. Okay, we don't know what's gonna happen in November. We're just gonna have to wait and see. And we're about five months away from that. So, you know, if Trump don't get back in the White House, it's gonna be chaos. If Trump does get in the White House, it's still gonna be chaos. So it's really a lose lose situation, man. So. It is what it is. It says, it's no coincidence that Swab, young global leaders are standing down in masses. According to prosecutor, prosecutors, the crimes of political leadership in the UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand are much worse than those of yet not JWO. Involving Far higher numbers of victims. Hmm. Yeah. So these those are being exposed, man. Okay. You got all right, New Zealand's uh was that Jack Jack Nina Ardrin Ardina, alright. Was the first rat to lead the ship sink sinking ship. Her shock retirement, the world. It's not the first of many to come. All right. So, look, man. <laughs> Easy the mice are being exposed, man. Then you got trust Justin Trudeau. Then you got Melinda Gates. She divorced uh, Kill Gates. Okay. Look. These devil's crimes are being revealed for the whole world to see. And I'm going to put the rest of this in the description box. I'm not going to read all of this. It's a lot to read. So, as you can see. Esau is done, man. <clears throat> it's over for Esau. Okay? It's over for these devils. They're being exposed. Ain't got nowhere to run, no place to hide, man. Let's get this. This is Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 7. Concerning Edom, thus said the Lord, how about some y'all shall host? Is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perish from the prudent? Is that Wisdom vanish? Yeah, that left hand wisdom is vanishing, man. They're losing their power, their grip on the world. Okay? Verse 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Okay? It's over for you, devils, man. Let's go here. Have the two and sixteen. Yep, shameful spewing is on their glory, man. <laughs> and man, we live in some exciting times, man. We live in some beautiful times, man. Call him like you how about some y'all shot by Sharon Rakak with Dash Baraka Da. Okay, have the two and sixteen. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also. And let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the morning, how about she on shots? Right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spirit shall be on thy glory. Okay, shameful spirit is on these devils' glory. That's why they jumping shit, man. They leaving. They like, nope, we're done. <laughs> the hell with this. Okay, they know 
that judgment is on the way, man. Okay? They know it. Let's get it off with this scripture. Let's end it off with this one. This is a perfect scripture to end it off with, man. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Rejoice, be glad, man. Enjoy your kingdom. Enjoy what's left of it. Because it's crumbling. <laughs> That dwells in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. They're being exposed. Verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Our punishment is just about over with, man. Okay? We're about to get the fuck out of this captivity, man. And we're ready. Okay? Let's go. He will no more carry thee away in the captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Your sins are being put on display for the whole world to see, Esau. You're done. It's over with, man. It's over for you devils. Okay? So that, let's see. Anything else I had? Mm. Uh... That's pretty much it. I'm into here, man. Okay? So the days are speeding up for the elect's sake, man. So we almost out of here. Okay? Here's some nice you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans, man. And, of course, you speck of birds and nice that's got the most heating that look like the heating. We almost out of here, man. Okay? These devils' time, their time is up, man. Esau, your time is up, man. Get ready for slavery, buddy. Okay? Along with you heathens, too. All right? So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go see how about some y'all shy. By Shin Rakak with Dash. It's on to the next one, Sean Wom. Kwam Yashran and a Baba Ball. Sean Wom.